Hi there. Today I'm going to film a haul um, from two of my favorite shops, Planner Kate and then St Scribble Prince Co. Um, these are, I, I kind of did these over a couple of different hauls. Some of them are uh, orders I placed on Black Friday um, or before Black Friday and got discounts on. Others are for January items. Um, so I'll start with Planner Kate. So, um, like I said, this I think this was really two different orders, um, but I just have one of the samplers here. I think this is a newer sampler that she gives for free with an order. Um, really cute, one of her little headers. This is one of her double dots, which are my favorite. One of these little habit trackers, some nice icons. Um, so yeah, this was really nice. Um, I like this. I think it's a little bigger than it has been in the past. And then next, um, I happened to catch like a 40% off flash sale that she did right before she closed her shop for Thanksgiving. Um, so I maybe ordered, I probably wouldn't have normally ordered these sheets. These are actually in the November colors. Um, so I already had copies of these that I had used in November. Um, but honestly, I used most of them, especially of these. These are her, um, these are intended to go at the bottom of your planner. They could fit in a normal box too, but... I think they're a little bit thicker than a normal half box um, and they take they fill that bottom space where you might normally put washi really well. Um, I like to use these almost as a version of like the little things so instead of putting like the TV icons or um, the, you know the little strips down for the little things I just put one of these each day. Um, I like that I like doing that some weeks when I don't really know what's going to be going on but I know I'll have like a couple of little tasks or like TV shows or calls or whatever I need to make every day. So it has the two little asterisks and the meals. So like I said, this was the November colors. I used most of my sheet for November and I thought this would be really nice for like BG spreads or summer spreads. So I picked up another one um, with the discount. And then same for the double dot stickers. I use these a lot. I used a lot of them. Um, I'm really discovering that I like using these best to record um, my exercise so I like putting like one of these down every day and then if I think going forward I'm just going to put one down every day and even if it ends up being a rest day I'll just write in rest um but I just think they're the right size they're like a little bigger um but and then I like to put a little icon denoting what kind of exercise I'm doing so um I like these a lot and again I thought they'd look nice in like BG spreads and I used up most of mine that I had ordered for November um, and the next thing I ordered were December items. Um, and then this is the her December washi set. She used to sell this all as like one set so you'd get the long strips. Obviously I've already actually used two of these um, that were in my spread for the first week of December. And then you also get the shorter pieces. Um, she is dividing it up now I believe so you can buy the shorter pieces separate from the longer pieces. Not I believe, I know she is. Um, so, um, switch, which is nice if you don't want the whole kit. This, honestly, I'm probably not going to use that much of maybe the green stuff I'll use in, um, December, but the other, the navies I might, like, save for, like, a nice, um, like, spring spread or just the, especially the Kelly green and the navy is reading really more, like, spring or summer preppy to me than winter. Um, but I like that it's not, like, that it's not all snowman stuff, so I can use this a lot during different parts of the year. So there's the washi. Um, and then um, some December items. Obviously, I've already started to use these. Once again, with the double dots. Like I said, these are probably my favorite sticker she makes. Um, I've already started to use them this week. Um, and um, yeah, they're really functional. She released colors for December that were her um, the, the normal December monthly colors. And then she also did kind of classic Christmas colors so that you could pull in the red, which I liked a lot. So I picked up both of those. Uh, and then finally, again, with the, the bottom bar um, set, the... Um, and I got it in the December colors. Um, I like these a lot. I think they're really functional. Um, so I picked that up. Uh, and then last for December, I got her December sampler. I kind of go back and forth on getting these. Um, you'll actually see later she did reformat and I liked the reformatted version a lot. So I think I'll be ordering these from her from here on out. Um, I do occasionally like to use these. Um, I'm like a crazy person. So it does bother me when this font doesn't match like the headers that I use from scribble prints, but um, whatever. I can be less crazy. Um, so there's Planner Kate, uh, her sampler sheet for December. And then I made the problematic discovery that her horizontal double dots, um, actually are the exact same size as the vertical. So, 
you can probably see there, they're the same width, they're 1.5 inches. So, and I love the horizontal colors, so I ordered three of those. <laughs> um, the, I, I don't remember which months these match with in the horizontal Erin Condren, um, but they, um, but I just really thought they were really good, versatile colors. I'll use these, I like purples a lot, um, and the pinks I think will be really nice for February. Um, and even honestly some spreads I have coming up, so. Um, yeah, this is really good. And then this is also the first time you'll see, um, she said for all of her, Planner Kate, for all of her new sticker sheets, she's adding this extra, um, like, uh, border here and putting circles in so you can hole punch it if you want to add it to a binder for organization. Um, I use like a, what are those, like a, almost like a coupon holder, from like the Target dollar spot to hold my stickers, but that is nice if you're into binders. I already have that there. Um, and then next are the, her, the monthly items I ordered from Planner Kate for January. Um, first, of course, once again, the double dots um, and just they match the January colors from the Erin Condren. Um, next is her reformatted um, sampler sheet for the January colors. And it didn't change too, too much. It still has the weekend banner that, um, but I do like she's using smaller icons, which I actually like a lot. Um, I think they're a lot better size and like you could put one right in like a double dot and it would look really cute. So um, I'm not sure if she's going to like be releasing more of the icons or what, but um, I like the new size of them. Then again, I got the bottom bar three piece. Um, and then finally I ordered one of these like separated sets. I didn't get any of the short pieces for January just because I wasn't sure how much I used them in the monthly colors. Um, but I did like this. I think um, a lot of these will look nice with the January colors um, and they just I, they could also just be nice for summer. So that's it from Planner Kate. So next is Scribble Prints. Um, I'll start with everything that I got in the January monthly colors. I went way overboard because I do like these colors and also she had some like fun new sheets that I felt like I had to get. Um, I also I always get in general um, kind of extra sheets of scribble prints monthly items because I use m her functional stickers are really the main stickers I use um, so it's nice to have extras in different colors than like the normal rainbow colors that she normally releases. Um, so we'll work our way through here. Um, so first from scribble prints is the little mini events. Um, these, I'm kind of, I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to get these for this month because I definitely, I always use like a few, ever since she started releasing these a few months back, I find myself using like a couple of rows, but I'm definitely not using the whole sheet. Like every month I don't need two hair appointment stickers. Like I just, I get my hair cut like twice a year. That doesn't, so I don't know. So I'm not sure if I'm going to continue getting these, but I did like it had like the New Year's Day and MLK Day. Um... And I like the paydays. Sometimes I actually use these because there's also payday stickers, like there's like little dollar signs. So sometimes I'll use these in the monthly spread in the Erin Contra instead. Next is her charity sampler. Um, I, she, this was the first month she didn't release her normal like five sheet monthly kit. Um, and so I didn't, these are the only, um, heart checklist, not the ombre, not the large boxes. This, These are just the heart checklist. So these are the only ones I got since there aren't any in um, the, like there's no monthly kit now. So normally I would get a bunch of these in the monthly kit. So this was all that I got from that. Um, and same, and so she did have an entire sheet that was just the heart checklist, but I use the ombre boxes a lot more. So I didn't buy that sheet. Um, she also had a kit or a, sh a kit she also had a sheet that had all weekend banners but i'll probably only do one or two weeks of the january monthly colors so i decided to do the charity sheet and just get the one weekend banner and then i have a couple other icons and um, some of those um, i know in the future she talked maybe about extending this and doing a little bit more decorate decorative elements at the top which i would really like um, so that's the charity sampler Next, I got her Andrea's Favorites Little Things headers, um, and I did get a couple of those, and, the, you know, these I use these in all my spreads. I think a lot of people do. They're really functional. Um, I've just personally gotten very used to her font, so it's my favorite, um, and I just like to see that, and it looks really clean and nice in the planner. Next is the Ombre Heart Checklist. Um, again, I use these a ton. I did order, or I ordered four 
of these. Again, I did get a discount um, on some, like, because she did Black Friday specials and things like that, but in Cyber Monday. Or did she do Cyber Monday? I guess it was like Cyber Sunday before she closed. Anyway, um, so I did order a few of these. Um, in order to get like that look where you have all one color across the top now to like match the to-do header, for example, you would have to order four of these, which obviously gets expensive. I'm probably not going to do this in every month, but um, once again, I really did like these colors. I know I'll use them um, and I might not do like all matching for all of them. So it's just, it's nice to have the variety. And then here are her little things. Um, like I said, sometimes I like to use the Planner Kate ones, um, and sometimes I like to do these. It really depends on what kind of week I'm having. If I'm having the kind of week where I'm feeling like really organized or like I know like the different things I'm gonna do each night, like then I'll use these. And if not, I might use the blank ones. So it just depends on what's going on that week and also just kind of what look I wanna have. Um, then her dotted half boxes, um, these are, really just functional you know I use them to like mark events I always think in my head and I think I said this in my pl last plan with me um like there's that old Seinfeld joke about is something sponge worthy I always think is it half box worthy that's like my thought like if it's a big event <laughs> it gets a half box and if it's not then um it might get something smaller but yeah so that's just me being a dork um, and then she brought these back, which I was really happy to see because I do use these. I like these to mark down meetings. Um, sometimes I've also even used these in the little things section. Just put one of these at the bottom of every um, page and then just called it little things. Um, I do think these are functional. You know, because they do have the rounded edges, I like to put washi behind it, but that's fine. Um, speaking of washi, um, then I, I got her washi sheet. Um, the, you know, this is matte. Um, I like that it matches the monthly colors. And I did get one sheet of her full boxes. Um, I, you know, I'll use these to kind of match the monthly kit, but I would say the this pattern probably isn't my favorite. Um, I do like that there's a lot of like that there's a distinct variety in the colors. I felt like with the December um, full boxes that they weren't like distinguished enough in the colors, but these are like definitely four different colors, which I like. Oh, and then this is the really, this is one of her new sheets that she released, which I think is really awesome and really fun. Um, this, she used to have a charity sampler that she would release each month and it had like one of these little vacuums and one of these little cleaning supplies and some of the canceled and rescheduled. And when she got rid of it and started doing a smaller charity sampler um, that was a little bit cheaper, I think a lot of people missed those and she took that feedback and so created this new kind of D different things, I guess, is a way to, uh, um, I forget what she actually called it, but, <clears throat> but this is, I think is really cute. You know, am I probably, gonna, am I going to go to four movies in a month? Probably not. Um, but I will like, I mean, I'll use one of these probably every week for laundry and, you know, it, like, it's nice to, like, I always try to, not always try to, I often try to, um, treat myself to like coffee, like at Starbucks once a week. So I might mark that down marking down nails, um, and these are just functional, the large um, teardrops and what are those called, page flags. Um, so yeah, so I thought this was really cute. Um, I was excited to see the design of this. Um, yeah. And then this is another new sheet, which I also love. Um, it has the three heart checklists um, and to do, to clean, to buy, and to go. And then at the bottom it has two rows of bill dues. I don't know that personally I need all eight bill dues. Right now I only use them in my monthly spreads and if she got rid of like one of these rows and added something else, which I think she talked about doing in one of her videos, um, I wouldn't be heartbroken. But the, um, but it, this is just, I think this is really functional. I love these to add to my sidebar. Or even sometimes I'll just put them on a given day. Like if I know I'm going to a bunch of places, I'll use it to go. Um, so I just, I really like this. And I like that she's now offering it separately. Um, and finally, the icon sheet. Um, this, I was kind of going back and forth on ordering. Not because I don't, I do use her icons a lot. Especially like when I would, in the monthly kits. And I do like them. Um, but I don't know... I, I think she this could be reformatted a little better. I you know I think there's like three again with the haircuts. There's like three different haircut stickers like haircut, haircut, haircut. 
Like, I don't need three haircut icons in a month. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of money ones. There's like the dollar sign and then there's also the dollar bill and the dollar sign. Like, so I, I don't know. I think, um, I hope that she listens to feedback and if other people don't like it too, like, I, I like it, obviously, I bought it. I just, um, I think there could, we can, you can maximize, with getting this many icons, you can maximize the variety a little bit more. Um, that being said, I do really like that she's offering a lot more of these because there are some, like, I'd like to mark down that we need to do the trash or recycling every week. Some months I do travel, I have months where I travel a lot for work, so I would always go through, like, more than just the one airplane sticker that's on the sheet. Um, so, um, yeah, so I do like this a lot, um, and in general, I do like the add-on, like the new sheets that Scribble Prints Co. added. Um, I am definitely excited. Uh, you know, I think, I know some people were upset that the monthly kit was gone, but um, I think being able to customize it a bit more, like, the there were some sheets I didn't buy. Like I said, I didn't buy the one that had the all heart checklist, just because I know I wouldn't need it. Um, or the one that had all the weekend banners, just because I know, like, I don't use all five in a month. Um, it does it does add up a little bit more this way, but I do think there were a lot of stickers in the monthly kit that I wasn't using um, that I don't mind letting go of. Um, so those were all my January items from Scribble Prints. Um, and then I did get some others, like I said, because she was running a sale. Um, so, and I had heard on a video of hers that... Um, they're kind of moving to a format where um, if stickers like in the shop run out, they might not restock those. They're just going to keep stocking big amounts of a given set. And then once it runs out, it might not be restocked till like the next year. Um, so that kind of influenced my buying. And then also this influenced my buying. This is um, that cute sheet that I showed from the J January colors. Um, that's it in like what she calls, what Andrea calls the scribble prints colors, the pink, gray, mint and navy. Um, I love these colors together. I hope she does a full kit in these colors because I love them together. Um, and this was a freebie she was getting if, if you spent $50 on Black Friday, I believe, or some amount on some day. But um, so I, yeah, had to get it. I mean, come on. It's so cute. Um, oh, and then this is just the nor her normal little freebie that she's been using for December. I have a bunch of these. Um, so... I did just buy some things that were in her shop that I had been having my eye on, just um, in case, like I said, in case she decided to, in case they were discontinued. Um, I'll start actually back here. So this was from the November. This was already discounted because November had passed. Um, so I got that. Um, I, I liked the November colors and I had run out of it, so I decided to use it. Even if I save it till next November, um, it was on discount, so I got it. Um, then I bought just some extra headers. I This is the, I used this, what is this called? This is called Toasted Almond, and I had bought one and used it already with my Woodland um, Woodland Winter set, I believe, um, that was from Scribble Prints, and it matched that really well. And um, I decided to pick up another one to have on hand to match like a more neutral uh, spread, and I, because I liked the tans. Um, so I picked up uh, that headers. This were the headers from, these were the headers from the donut set. And I know a lot of, um, I think the donut set was like one of the top sellers of those kits that she had, the, the newer kits that she had released, but it wasn't really my personal favorite, but I do like these colors. I think these are um, cute colors that go together. Um, and I, in general, I just like having extra headers. Um, I use a lot of my pink headers. I've used like on my Andrea's favorites header sheet. I kind of use colors as I go, and a lot of the pink ones are gone already, so I liked getting extra pink in the to-dos. And then this is totally, this was, I admit, a ridiculous, well actually let's just do this one first. Um, this was the, ooh, I forget, I don't know if it was Toasted Almond or like some neutral uh, hat boxes. Um, I just thought they were pretty, again, kind of with a more neutral background. Um, I just, I picked these up to have them on hand. Um, and then finally, yeah, like I said, this was a ridiculous purchase because my birthday isn't until July. Uh, but I was, I I heard her say that thing about that they won't restock things after. So I, you know, whatever. It was, I, I got the freebie sheet. It is what it is. It happened. So I'll save this for July. Uh, it's her birthday set. And this is one of these 
make your own kits. Um, so what I did, I bought the header sheet, of course, because I like doing the headers. Um, I bought the half boxes. I bought kind of the icon sheet, which has the checklist on it, the weekend banner, really cute, very cute clip art, um, and the happy birthday box. Um, so I did buy this and these. Um, what I'll probably do is actually use those for my to-do list and then use some of these in the sidebar. I always like to make my own sidebar. Um, and I'll use some of the ombre heart checklists in the sidebar and then I'll just save some for other spreads because these colors will go with a lot. Um, and then finally I did get the full boxes, um, which I just thought these were really cute. Um, I'm such a Scribble Prince fan. I have to have a Scribble Prince birthday, even if it's like six months away. So seven months? away so yeah um anyway so that was it that was everything i got in the last couple weeks um and most yeah planner kate and scribble prints and uh let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching